So I have uh, Cindy Grimm here and Linda Huber here. They are involved in the sesquicentennial of the wonderful Lakeside Ohio Resort. We're going to talk today about uh, Lakeside Ohio. We're also going to talk about this documentary about Lakeside Chautauqua, which has been done uh, by WGTE. And I know you've got a lot of stuff planned for the Memorial Day weekend. So we'll get some of this information out there ahead of time. But first, uh, I want to welcome both Cindy and Linda, both of you uh, giving of your time to come and tell us about it. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank sure. you very much for having us here. Now, before we talk about the events that are happening and the documentary itself, I wonder if somebody wants to take the lead and tell me a little bit about the history of Lakeside uh, Chautauqua. Sure, sure. I can do that. And um, my husband's just kind of turning off the clock. It was clicking. <laughs> it was telling us it's 11 o'clock. Um, Lakeside, uh, WGTE had 26 minutes and 46 seconds to do this story. And uh, I think what I'd like to do is put a shameless plug in for the Lakeside Heritage Society, who is going to be uh, publishing the anniversary book. And it's going to be a wonderful coffee table book. And Brad it is uh, going to tell that story in beautiful pictures, as well as a wonderful narrative. So I can give you a very brief history snapshot of Lakeside, but the book really is going to be a perfect bookend uh, to, the, to the documentary. Nice. So Lakeside itself, in my mind, is a perfect fusion, if you will, of two very American movements that happened in America. One was the camp meeting movement, and the other is the Chautauqua movement. And the camp meeting movement happened in the late 1700s in Kentucky. And it was basically to bring people to faith and also to uh, have mostly rural Americans come together in a community. And during the Civil War, it took a bit of a hiatus. And then after the Civil War, it came back. And it was a little slightly different. It was predominantly a Protestant um, function event. And then after the Civil War, it became more of a Methodist. And so the founders of Lakeside who were Methodist wanted to create a family-friendly resort and also wanted to hold camp meetings and also do that on the shores of Lake Erie, right? And so that happened in 1873. And then a year later in Lakes uh, Chautauqua, New York, they took a slight variation there and created something to standardize teaching for Sunday school teachers. And so Lakeside took that idea and expanded the program and pretty much does what it does today, which is expand the, uh, do all the programming in the religion, the arts, the recreation and education. So that yeah. is a very simple snapshot is this fusion between the camp meeting and the Chautauqua movement. Um, I wonder if, Cindy, if you can give us a little background on you and, and your involvement with uh, Lakeside Chautauqua. Sure. So, um, you know, as you know, we were celebrating 150 years. And as we were coming into that time, we were like, wow, that's, a, that's really great. We really want to celebrate this community. We really want to celebrate what we've done. Um, so there were, uh, so myself and Randy Snow are the co-chairs of the steering committee. And we have a wonderful group of about 25 people who have been working on planning this for like almost the last two years. Um, and as we thought about celebrating our sesquicentennial, we really wanted to, we wanted to honor the past, you know, thus the documentary, which we're going to talk about in a minute, the book, there's, you know, heritage trail, there's a whole lot of different things we were doing to help educate the community and celebrate and honor that past. We also want to celebrate what we are today um, and look to the future. So Lakeside is really one of those hidden gems. I mean, it's less than an hour from Toledo. And it's, um, it's, we, we call this area Ohio's most beautiful mile. It's just this beautiful setting. It's a family resort, but it's more than a resort because of the Chautauqua part of it. 
it is a kind of a body, mind, spirit, rest and renewal. Um, there are literally 3,000 activities planned for this summer. I mean, you could you could stay busy every minute or you could just sit and stare at Lake Erie and, you know, listen to the birds. I mean, there's just this that option of all different things to do. Um, and the programming, we really planned it around the four pillars. And Linda made mention of those, the four kind of key things that, that hold up Chautauqua. And that's religion, arts, um, uh, art, recreation, and education. Um, so we have programming that, you know, we've got a swimming pool and we've got the lake and we've got shuffleboard and we have tennis. So you've got all kinds of recreation things. But then every... Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night in our 3,000 seat auditorium, Hoover Auditorium, we have major speakers or major um, entertainers who are coming. Um, and then there's a whole host of arts, other arts things that go on and educational speakers, pretty big educational speakers as well. Yeah, you mentioned uh, the arts and education side of, of your offerings there at Lakeside. I wonder if you can maybe preview a, a few things that are coming sure. up. Yeah, so um, we have some really major, uh, what we call marquee educational speakers. So to give you an idea, in July, we have Catherine Sullivan. She is a, um, a former astronaut. She was the first woman to walk in space. Um, this is very varied. Then we have Clark Kellogg, who is an Ohio State basketball and pro basketball player and a CBS sports commentator. Um, another example is Robert Putnam. Robert Putnam actually grew up in this area. He's a Harvard sociologist, famous for writing some pretty big books on uh, bowling alone and things on social capital. He has a new book out as well. Um, and, and people like Jamar Tisby. So Jamar Tisby is a nationally known speaker on faith and social justice. So you can see we cover a lot of different topics. Arts and entertainment wise, again, almost every Friday and Saturday night, but to give you an idea, just coming up on um, June 3rd are the comedians from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Um, oh, yeah. yeah, you probably, a lot of people will be familiar with them and they have an amazing improv show called Scared Scriptless. Yeah. Um, and, <laughs> and that is gonna be on Saturday, June 3rd. Um, and that's gonna be a fantastic show. We have other comedians like Paul Reiser later in the year. And then again, variety. We've got a classic rock group, Blood, Sweat and Tears is gonna be here. A Christian rock group, the Crowder Band, probably one of the most famous uh, Christian rock groups right now. Um, we've got a country group, Lone Star. And then every um, like kind of end of July, early August, we have a resident symphony. So the Lakeside Symphony Orchestra is here with pops concerts and classical music. And then in between all of that, there's jugglers and acrobats and, you know, more local, you know, uh, singing groups. Um, so it's just uh, lots and lots of things going on. Well, um, if folks want to find out more, you've got a pretty comprehensive website, right? We do. So lakesideohio.com. So um, spelled out Lakeside, Ohio. Um, and you, there's a calendar there. There's a lot of information. Um, there is a, everybody is welcome. It's totally open to everybody. Um, there is during the summer a, a gate fee. So once you pay, you pay to get into the grounds. And once you pay to get into the grounds, then everything is free. So then you can go to the pool and the lake and the shuffleboard. And you can go to all the musical uh, you know, things going on and educational things going on. Um, but people should be aware of that. And it's roughly around $30 for adults and much less, of yeah. course, for teens and youth. A little bit higher on some, you know, weekends and lower in the week is, you know, typical of those kinds of things. So it's kind of like New York City, except nothing is free on once you get in. Yeah, <laughs> once you pay yeah, the yeah. fee to get in. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's well, a good deal. Let's talk about you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let's talk about the, the documentary and the stuff that you've got going on with the 150th anniversary. First of all, um, who approached who when it came to uh, working the documentary? Yeah, I think that uh, the planning committee very early on, Brad, recognized the importance of doing a documentary. And so uh, the committees approached WGTE and ask them if they would be willing to do that. And we we're just thrilled, number one, yeah. that WGT did it. Uh, Ray Miller and his team of Shane and Nathan and Caleb 
uh, just a wonderful group. We came out, they came out uh, a year ago in April and we had our first kickoff meeting there and we had the WGT team with the Lakeside team and uh, that was the start. And then it was a very whirlwind year uh, to, to do start to finish. Well, you've got some big events planned, including the premiere of the documentary, which is going to take place at Lakeside Chautauqua. Correct. Uh, can you tell us a, bit, a little bit about uh, what's going on there? Well, um, Cindy, I don't know if you know a few more details than I do, but from what I understand from the Lakeside staff, they're, they're going to try to morph this into a, a Hollywood Academy Awards type of yes. event. So we're going <laughs> They literally are going to have a red carpet and yeah. bubble machines and places that you can take pictures. Um, so it'll, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. There, there'll be a little bit of a reception. Um, we're looking forward to having the WGT team there for kind of a Q&A with the, you know, the producers and directors. Um, everybody's very excited about it, for sure. Yeah. And, no and the host... And the host, I should say, is, is a remarkable uh, uh, yes. addition to the documentary. Yes. So yeah. Steve Hartman, we're very fortunate. Um, Steve actually grew up coming to Lakeside as a kid. And he okay. he brags about his, um, you know, shuffleboard tournament uh, trophy that he won when he was 12 <laughs> years old. Um, and he's from this area. He went to Bowling Green. So he was very gracious um, uh, to, uh, you know, to be the narrator for the film. And we were yeah. so excited that he was uh, willing yeah. to do that. Yeah. Linda, you were going to say something before I cut you off. I'm sorry. Well, I was, that's OK. I was going to mention that uh, in addition to his Pee Wee shuffleboard trophy, Steve Hartman is very proud of his little picture of him in the crib with his lakeside uh, pram <laughs> shirt on. So it's, it's very cute. Yeah, he's he's a lifelong goer and a contributor to all things Lakeside. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Well, I've seen the documentary and ah. it's fantastic. It, it's really a great introduction for people who maybe aren't familiar with Lakeside, right. Ohio, and its history yes. and the plans for the future and everything that's to be had. Um, during this anniversary, the sesquicentennial of, of uh, Lakeside. You've got a lot of stuff going on, including some stuff that's happening on Memorial Day. Uh, folks that watch this before um, Memorial Day, they, they can get a little heads up from you as to what's going on. Talk about that, that anniversary as a whole and, and some of the special events you have planned. Mm -hmm. So um, we have uh, the Drowsy Lads are going to be a, a musical group that will be here on Friday night. They're a uh, uh, very well known in terms of their Irish music, that type of thing. And then we have a tribute to Journey on Saturday night. Um, but then during the day, um, we've got an official kickoff at three o'clock on Sunday. We've got several um, local dignitaries. Marcy Captor is going to be here. Um, and then we've also got a whole host of there's going to be carriage rides and square dancing and, you know, just kind of all kinds of stuff to just various activities and, you know, thinking back, you know, more than 100 years ago for people to do, as well as just all the other activities there always go on, you know, swimming and pickleball yeah. and jumpleboard board and everything. And then, of course, the premiere is, you know, Sunday night. So, right. Yeah. Is, is this the sort of thing that uh, people can last minute decide that they want to go and visit? Oh, yeah, sure. yeah. yeah absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you're listening to this on the radio, we are timing it for the release on WGTE. It's being broadcast on the HD station. That is, uh, well, if you're listening right now on the radio, it would be tonight, but it's Thursday, June 1st at 8 o'clock p.m. here on WGTE. Is there anything you want to say in regards to this uh, wonderful partnership that we've enjoyed and uh, I hope that we can continue into the future? For me personally, for, for me personally, uh, it was just a wonderful working with these Nathan and Caleb. They were so passionate about what they were doing, so professional. Uh, there was such a wonderful rhythm uh, amongst the two of them, and then just working, just fitting right in. It was just amazing to me how, how wonderful all came together, Brad. Yeah. 
Well, I, I thank you for your time. Linda Huber and Cindy Grimm talking to me about Lakeside Chautauqua and all the offerings that are happening uh, for their 150th anniversary and as well as the WGTE produced documentary on Lakeside, Ohio, uh, Lakeside Chautauqua. So uh, thank you again for spending a little time and uh, we, we wish that uh, we continue our partnership on yeah. onward into the future. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah.